Now to a story you'll see only on two tonight, a controversy centering around a historic lodge in the Heights and a proposed swimming pool. Now some members of that lodge say they're being left high and dry while others are being given full access to that pool. Channel 2 Sophia Beausoleil joins us live from the Heights tonight with the story. Sophia. Dominique, these plans are still very much in the works, but when it comes to SBJST, the Lodge 88 right behind me, it is well known in the community for its dances, events, and of course, its bingo on Thursday nights. So members say adding a pool would be a great addition to the facility, but some are concerned only a few members would have access to it. Around the Heights, there are two public pools, but some complain they're outdated and are not open at convenient times. So when members of the SPJST Lodge 88 heard that there were plans to build a new pool at their facility, they were happy. A pool is great for the community. A pool is great for the SPJST. An exclusive pool with just this small group of people is going to kill the SPJST. Kathleen Curtis is a member of the Fraternal Benefit System that was created by Texans of Czech descent more than 100 years ago. Its founders placed their building on more than 10 acres of land in the Heights, which is now prime real estate. I just think that this country club model of the expensive bonds limited to only a few families is going to destroy our organization. On Lodge 88's website, it says members can pay $6,000 to join the swim club, but all 360 spots are already reserved and that there's a wait list. Kathleen says she's concerned that means more than 4,000 members of the organization in Houston won't be able to use the pool because of the limited amount of spaces and the price tag. She's also concerned that potential new members won't want to join. I feel like everything that I researched about what the organization stood for has been violated by the way that this pool plan has gone about. In a statement, SPJST Lodge 88 said in part, quote, all members were given the opportunity to purchase pool memberships and many opted in. Given the expense of building and maintaining a pool, we did not feel it was appropriate to force uninterested members to share in its costs. But Kathleen alleges many members are not aware of what's going on. The president who oversees all of SPJST is based in Central Texas and told us over the phone nothing is official and that they are looking into the plans for the pool. Because it is taking place at an SPJST Lodge property, we still want to ensure that the general membership have some form of access without question to the pool and not just the general membership but the entire community. There are a lot of questions when it comes to this plan, and there is a general meeting next week, and Brian told me that they hope to iron out a lot of those issues that people have brought up. Reporting live from the Heights, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.